What's going on YouTube? My name is Cal and I go by Calcioscope. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to change your UI interface colors within Photoshop. In other terms, user interface colors, whatever you want to call it. You guys see I have like this neon green color for my Photoshop. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is close out of everything that you have open. You know, you just don't want to have those boring colors, right? As a designer, you want to, like, we just love having colors, so why not spice up our Photoshop? So, the first thing that you're going to want to do is just close out of everything. So, I'm going to close out of Photoshop as well, because when we go back into it after we're done with the process, it will allow us to reload it. So, I close out of that, and now um, the first thing that you're going to want to do is just get into your program file. So, your files probably you have a tab up here, or if you don't, just type in like program files or profiles whatever you should have a file explorer on your computer so yeah file explorer so I have a shortcut right here so I click that and then I'm going to my local disk C that's where most most of the time that's where your Photoshop's gonna be unless you put it on a specific specific location if you did that's more power to you but I go to program files and I go to Adobe after you go to Adobe, go to Adobe Photoshop 2020 or whatever version that you have. You should be able to do this on most versions. Then you're going to go to required and you're going to scroll down to UI colors. And UI colors is the is the file that we're going to have to change, the notepad that we're going to have to change. Whatever you're opening the text document in, that's what we're going to have to change. But the first thing that you're going to want to do before you do anything is make a copy. So right click, press copy, and then you would paste a copy so make a UI colors copy because you don't want to go in there mess up some colors and then there's really no going back so the main present the main thing that we're gonna have to change on here is the widget scroll bar arrows the widget scroll bar elevator fill the ruler text widget button fill pressed widget button stroke and scrolling list selected default now say if you want to change more than that you're more than welcome to but in most cases that's all you're gonna really need to change and when you're changing it um, be sure you're not like just doing it in a random spot it's gonna be on the last sequence so see how this is the fourth sequence down it's gonna always be on the last sequence and it's gonna be the first three it's gonna be the first three uh, numbers alright so it's gonna be the first three numbers and it's the last sequence down remember that so what we're gonna have to do to actually get these these colors is we're gonna have to look up a color that we want obviously so let's go to Google Chrome and I'm just gonna type in my hex color I already have it there just type that hex color in and for this time I'm gonna change it to a blue and I like saturated blue so um, the number that you're gonna have to choose from here is the RGB not any of these numbers the RGB number so it's 0 85 255 so I'm just gonna control C copy it and make sure I have it just in case so that's that's my pace 0 85 255 all right so we have that right there and one other thing I want to mention because um, there was there was a little bit confusion when I was trying to do this the first time if your properties won't let you save I just do this in the beginning because sometimes it won't let you save then you gotta redo it again just before you enter these numbers right click go to properties and then you're gonna go to your security right in this case I have everyone there so everyone can use it and save and I have all the permissions right but say if say if that wasn't there and you didn't know that and you tried doing the numbers and changing the colors it wouldn't work so what you would have to do is just go to edit and then you would go to add and then you would type in EV check for the names and you would click on everyone then you would select all of these for the allow and then you would press on add to it and then it would be then you will be able to save uh, all your colors and presets or whatever you're trying to do all right so make sure you do that but what I'm going to do now is to show you one example of entering the numbers It's pretty straightforward but I'm going to show you the first example that I'm going to just finish it out and we'll see what we get as a result it's pretty step by step so just make sure that you search hex color pick a hex color that you like then you're going to make sure your properties have it set for everyone's going to be able to change and the things that are going to be changing is your widget scroll bar arrows widget scroll bar elevator fill ruler text widget button fill pressed widget button stroke and scrolling list selected default I'll have that in the description as well as it will be on the screen when I set it the first time so you guys won't get confused there so let's just scroll down it takes a little bit of time to kind of find the the, the correct the correct uh, group 
because it's just so many groups there but just take your time and you'll be able to find it um, yeah if you just take your take your time so the first one is widget scroll bar elevator fill and like I said it's the bottom the bottom uh, sequence and it's the first three numbers so just paste your numbers in there like that so scroll over control V paste your numbers and if you if you did something where you messed up your your pace just go back to your numbers all right so then I go to what my microphone's in the way I go back to my notepad and I'm gonna fill in the rest of these and then we will be back all right so all my all my numbers are inserted into the last three brackets or the last three numbers on the last bracket so now I go to file save and that's gonna make sure everything is saved and then I'm gonna exit out and then once we open up Photoshop it should be that new blue hex color that I have there so let's just open up Photoshop and let us do its thing you guys are you guys are professional coders after this video professional coding how do you guys feel wow. All right so we're gonna start up Photoshop and you guys see right there now we have a nice blue interface when we want to use Photoshop so that's that's all all the, that it is to it and to do this Photoshop tutorial and changing the UI interface colors if you guys do have questions make sure you guys really did pay attention in the video so that like redundant questions they don't have to get answered but I'm not I'm not uh, saying that not any questions aren't allowed like no but if you guys have questions let me know down below I hope this tutorial was helpful and I hope you guys change your Photoshop colors to some very very nice colors I want to see what colors you guys will change it to maybe one of you will like switch it up and do a whole bunch of colors do a rainbow or something like that something funky but I appreciate you guys tuning into another video and until next time guys stay scoped make sure you guys drop a like down below comment and subscribe I'm out peace